What is up watch fam? Happy Thursday and welcome to this week's Lug to Lug. I am Christian from Theo and Harris and today we're actually jumping into two vintage watches. One, an Omega Seamaster with a killer copper patina and the second, a vintage Rolex Datejust as it is T&H. Let's do it. This is what Thursdays at TNH are made of. A stunning 60s Omega Seamaster and a matte black Rolex State Just reference 1601. I haven't had many jobs, but I can't imagine any other being this good. First, the Seamaster. You'll never see another just like it, I guarantee it. Its style might be a beautiful gradient copper now, but originally, it was white. You see, extreme exposure to the elements, the humidity in the sun namely, can have some pretty crazy effects on vintage dials. And look at the classic Seamaster case. Thick, beveled, and seemingly unpolished. Its broad dauphine hands and matching indices add so much to the durable steel aesthetic, don't they? and the inclusion of the original Omega crown doesn't hurt either. But let's back up and think about Omega for a second. It's a brand that many of us so wrongfully take for granted. Its significance stretches from the wrist to John F. Kennedy to the moon. The brand has been producing top-notch watches since 1848 and they have not stopped since. This model, the Seamaster, is one of the first watches I fell in love with. It's well-built, has its place in history, and more than that, when you buy one, you're getting a ton of value for your buck. As we've said it before, they claim no status, only style and respect for history, tasteful design, and practical mechanics. Now, the date just. It's a reference 1601 with a shockingly beautiful and equally rare matte black dial. I'll get back to all of that in a second. A vintage Rolex is one of the few material items that you can both enjoy for the rest of your life and, when the day comes, pass it down to the next generation to do the same. I mean, you could leave your grandsons and daughters your shoes, jackets, and dining room table too if you'd like, but, and I think you'll agree, a watch is not only more personal and intimate, but practical. Back to this example. Its case is strong, movement buttery, and its dial absolutely untouched, accented by its original tritium throughout. But, and I am sorry to disappoint, this one has been snagged up by our good friend Eric. He's an entrepreneur, extremely passionate watch collector, and brother to this beautiful date just new owner. That's right, Chris. Happy 32nd. For the rest of you geeks without brothers emailing me to source watches for you, head on over to theoandharris.com because I don't think this one-of-a-kind Seamaster will last much longer. So don't walk, run.